Hey guys, if you want to see how I turn a pair of jeans into these high-waisted pink ombre jean shorts, just go ahead and keep watching. So the things that you're going to need are going to be some jeans and you can find them at your local thrift store. Some bleach if the jeans you're using aren't white. An old bucket. And dye in any color that you want. And I'm going to start by cutting the jeans and I got these from my local Goodwill and as you can see they're pretty sexy there. But I have a really in-depth tutorial about this, so I'm going to link this and you guys can check that out to see how to cut your jeans. Since I am going to be cuffing them, I am leaving them a little bit longer. And as you can see there, I'm just making sure that they are the right length and they're perfect. Now I'm going to bleach my shorts. And all I'm doing here is just putting the shorts down into the bucket and just simply pouring the bleach on top. But you want to be really careful not to splash this everywhere and the reason I'm doing this outside is because bleach smells pretty bad as you guys probably know. So I ended up using about one and a half bottles of bleach and I actually got these from the dollar store for a dollar each. And I'm just using a stick that I found outside to make sure it's covered and putting the lid on top so my cats don't get into it. So after about two hours of the shorts sitting in the bleach, this is what they looked like. And I didn't really care that they weren't completely white because I feel like it still gave the pants some character. So now all I'm doing is just very carefully dumping out the bleach. And I should have gloves on when I do this, but I don't. But what I'm doing is just making sure all of the bleach is out of the pants. Also, a little tip, the wit dye that I used, the instructions are on the inside and I kind of couldn't find them at first, so you're going to want to look there. And all I'm doing is just adding my color to the water and I'm starting with the darker color first. Also, I kind of just forgot about the directions and kind of winged it. So I'm going to start at the top of the shorts and I'm just dipping them into the water about halfway. And what I'm actually going to do is every time I dip them in, I'm going to leave a little section out that's already been dipped so it kind of has that ombre effect. There are the gloves I needed a couple minutes ago, but I'm actually using them now especially because I don't want to stain my hands. And with this, you don't have to be exact. Just be creative and do whatever you want with your shorts. And I'm just going to let them sit there like that so the ends can get a lot darker than the middle section. And all I'm doing here now after they sat there for a few minutes is rinsing them out, making sure that I don't get any of the dye on the bottom of the jeans. And they are going to be lighter than what they looked like, but that's okay because I didn't want them really dark anyways. So now I'm going in with the second color and it's just a lighter pink. And I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm just using warm water. Now I'm just dipping the bottom half of the shorts into the lighter pink dye. And as you can see, the color takes pretty quick. So I'm just doing that and I'm actually dunking the entire shorts into the dye just to make sure that I fully get them covered in pink dye. So after that you're going to want to rinse out your shorts until the water runs clear and then you're going to wash and dry your shorts and just make sure when you wash them you wash them by themselves because they will dye other clothes if you wash them with those. So now it's time to stud and cuff them and you don't have to stud them if you don't want to but I actually had some studs left over from the last time that I did shorts. So all I'm doing is just putting them right on to the pockets and I'm just pressing them through with my thumb and flipping it through to the other side and then in order to push those down I'm just using a pair of scissors and like I said I'm just doing that on all the pockets. Yeah. 
So there you can see where I put the studs on all of the pockets and I really like how that looked. And I also really like the color of the jeans even though they're lighter than what I wanted them to be but I still really like them. So now all I'm doing is going in and chopping off any of the extra strings that I have to make the cuffing easier. And now I'm just starting with my first cuff and in order to get these to stay I'm going to, as you can see, iron them. And all I'm doing is just making sure that it's even all the way around and you really want to focus on the seams of the inside and the outside of the shorts because I feel like that's where they come uncuffed a lot. And I am cuffing them twice. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Take a minute to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I will talk to you guys soon.